welcome back guys this is uh, my youtube channel in where you will be able to learn different you know different kind of software you know technology different programming languages and so many new technology that comes in there i will try to you know uh, learn and basically whatever feature whatever uh, concept that i learned into, into i learned about computer programming i'll share it anyway so today's topic is we're going to talk about something called create small pattern so what i have uh, learned in my software development career is that once you learn some object oriented programming it's the next phase in your life in your not your life sorry in your software development career is you want to learn about some of the popular design pattern so the thing about that design pattern is you know um most of the time we have unknowingly we have basically used a lot of pattern but basically we didn't we didn't know sometimes like you would be so surprised that you have actually used the pattern even though you didn't know that you were using the pattern that's why this you know um there's a very nice book was written called gang gang of four book about software development and that was a really awesome book based on that they basically give a name so it would be easier for the other developers our ideas to share you know so when when a developer says oh we can use a singleton pattern for that feature or maybe strategy pattern or whatever then based on this that conversation you understand what he's you know uh, referring so just like any other you know educational principle we have our own lingos and that it's always a good idea to learn about these patterns so anyway so what are we going to do in this, this series series of video tutorial we're going to go through different creational pattern so we will start with a singleton pattern and different ways of creating a singleton class and after that we can talk about factory pattern and different with different factory patterns such as simple factory steady factory and abstract factory or etc and other complex um, design pattern complex design um, creational design patterns such as builder pattern prototype and offset pool pattern anyway this uh, anyway let's go ahead and it's this in terms of um, slide or well, slide or just the topic this is all i have most of this we will, we will be all uh, on our next one would be all code we will discuss, we will write a code and we'll discuss how, um, how we could make it better. Anyway, all our example is going to be in Java. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Eclipse editor here. And by the way, this uh, it doesn't really matter. Once you know the concept, you can implement the feature doesn't, in, in any opposite oriented programming languages, whether in C Sharp or PB.net or Java or whatever, you know, whatever your favorite programming language happen to be, I mean, object oriented programming happen to be. Sorry, my Eclipse is taking longer than usual to open it. All right, cool. So I have very blank editor. I'm going to go ahead and open, create a new project. I'm going to create a Java pro, very simple Java project here. Let's give it a meaningful name. design pattern project design all right we have simple design pattern uh, here in this source folder and when we I'm gonna go ahead and add some um, Add some packages here. I'm going to say um, yes, no.
Oh, actually, I wanted to get rid of this one. All right, we have a package called a singleton pattern in here. Let's go ahead and create a class. Uh, very, we, we're going to start with very simple class, and then we will talk about some of the pitfalls, some of the drawbacks, and how we can improve our singleton class as we, you know, um, describe some of the pitfalls, why we have to change the way. All right, it's going to be um, simple singleton. Going to be name of our class and it's okay. All right, pretty cool. Okay, the, the very first idea is that you have to know a class can be singleton, mean you the, the our clients should not be able to knew it from outside. They should be access our class, they should be get the instance of our class, in this case simple singleton pattern class, through a method through a public method. So um, to prevent this one, very first thing we have to do, we're going to create a private constructor. Right, we have a very simple private constructor here. This prevents clients from creating the new instances. All right, so next thing we have, we're going to do, we need to expose a private field here. we we'll say private uh, static simple singleton pattern. I'm going to call this guy as underscore instance. That's all. Okay, private field. Now, to, oops, I didn't know what did that do. Okay, all right. Let's also create a method here. Void ingredients. Okay, a simple method for greet. Okay, we're just gonna print the message here. Hello from simple single. now so because like our class is not really useful we have we don't have any we, our class has a private constructor client wouldn't be able to create an instance so to we need to create a method that would return itself I mean this return the ops instance of this class so let's create a public static um, simple singleton pattern I'm going to call get instance method called get instance. The purpose of this method is to new it, create a new instance of this object and return to its color. So uh, very first thing I'm going to do, uh, all right, if um, simple singleton pattern dot instance, if it is null, means it hasn't been created yet, I'm going to say, all right, simple I'm going to create a new instance of it. And once that is done, I have to return that to the color. 